Hi, welcome. My name is Obidako. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I would, today I want to share with you um, three types of mindset. Three types of mindset. There is the mindset of the rich, there is the mindset of the people that call the middle class, and there is a the mindset of the poor. And each of them is rich through a particular uh, part and a particular art outlook of life. There is a way poor, the people we call poor, the people they call poor look at life. You know, and there is a way the people in the middle, the people they call the middle class, look at life. And then there is a way that the top, those who don't have to worry about money at all, there are certain people in this life who don't have to ever think of what to eat, where to live, what to fly, what to drive. You know, if they have to worry about money at all, they worry about how much that they are getting that they can control. <laughs> it's not a lack. But majority of the world's population uh, worry about the lack of it. The lack of it more than having the abound, you know, abundance of it and not knowing what to do with it. Majority of us, you know, maybe 90% or 95% of the world's population worry from not having or having and not having enough. They, we can play. Uh, there is not much allowance. But a lot of it is, is a state of mind in the first place before, if, before there is any fruit at all. You know, so most poor people, the people who, who don't know what to eat, where to live, always thinking of when the next day, you know, food, where the next meal is coming from or worrying about the school fees, worrying about the rent. Sometimes if you're not having anywhere to sleep at all, no shoe, nothing, and nowhere to sleep. People who are constantly worrying about money, which we call poor who may not even have any source of income at all. There is no job. They have to live. They have to always depend on somebody for the next uh, source of income um, or the next source of food. You know, uh, most of these people we call poor. You know, and there are very you know there are stages. But once you are not uh, in charge, you don't know where. You have no salary coming in. You have no income coming in. You don't know what to do with the next food you are always in that you know you're always worried about what what to eat what, where to sleep what where those kind of people they will say are poor now there is another category uh who have what to eat maybe and what to what to what, where to sleep what to wear but they don't have it in excess such that when the source of income is cut uh within the next two months or so there is nothing that they can do they just back to the state of the poor those people we call the middle class and usually they have been to school you know and there are different categories of middle class but they they call them middle class and they dress in different shapes and form but at least they have covered the basis you know the food the shelter the clothing they have covered you know have some house which is on mortgage or some you know they went to school alone you know things like that and they work and uh, no matter the salary that they have paid they leave to exhaust all the salary such that when the salary is cut for the next three months you know they, they have no clue what to eat where, where the next you know salary come from when the source is cut because they have not been able to uh, structure their finances such that if they don't work for the next one year or two or three they will still be able to keep the standard of life that they have you know we call them the middle class and they are uh, they come in all shapes and forms they come in as lawyers doctors engineers you know mechanics all kind of people largely they're educated in our, in, our, in our communities we call them the middle class and we have the very top middle class we have the very poor you know the low grade middle class they are better than the poor and a lot of the times it's they are all have they all have the same kind of psyche you know they are much more interested the middle people much more interested in in good job good salary looking good you know they worry about what people think of them where they live what they drive the you know the, the kind of wedding that they have <laughs> this is the status in society government positions multinationals you know um they are the ones ad advising people to go for certificate every day go and better yourself go and become the, you know they are the ones telling you the next job is here go and apply they are the, the, those are the middle people and uh, and there's those who are able to 
you know they think in terms of businesses and investments they they think in terms of money they think to create money they create opportunities for themselves and those kind of people their background could be educated could be no education at all but they understand money differently they understand when you send them anywhere they understand money differently they create opportunities they are the ones who are able to start from nothing especially the fact those who were able to create the wealth themselves if they are the first generation even sometimes if it's it's you know transgenerational but they are thinking the way they look at life is so much different uh, from the rest of the people you know so they are not the ones trying to impress you with their houses they are not the ones trying to impress you with the cars that they drive they are not the ones trying to show you a lot of money you know they are the ones who understand money and they control power they go for power they will go for money but you will not assume that they have because why they have they are so much used to having money such that they are thinking it's so much different when you go through town you will see them if you see anybody whose parents or who has created a lot of wealth out of their ingenuity out of their knowledge out of their sweat out of their hard work the understanding they built from nothing to some level the understanding of life is so much differently uh, different from the rest of the people they are not so much quick to impress you with their money they have strong control over money right? they, are, they are able to preserve money and multiply money and grow money the understanding is different they know the importance of money and so they don't waste it the other ones <laughs> if they are poor and they got political position once they get some assets to buy you see them they buy new houses from you know they move from where they live they change their cars and yet their information on money is still the same and so the difference is in the is in the thinking the information that they have the outlook that they have when it has to do with what with money and how the world is run you know so my name is Obina. i'm talking about three types of mindset there is a poor person's mindset and there is a people that we sent to school who are occupy all kind of positions and they are the majority i think maybe in terms of which institutions run in a country the middle class people technically they are not so much far from the way the poor people think in terms of money because the only thing is that they are able to get up for um, take care of the basis you know so they look nice they dress nice but when they have money they spend the money they don't they don't conserve money they don't invest money they don't multiply money they make to spend that is the middle people the poor don't make anything at all they depend on others to feed them but the middle depend on institutions and government but when the money comes to them they they spend they spend and they are the other ones who believe that the house that they have is <laughs> <laughs> their work is their house <laughs> you know they, they are the ones who have believed in a lot of the economics that they teach in school they, a lot of the financial knowledge that they teach in school they, they rely so much on certificates they are always looking for somebody to give them a better position in the organization you know they act like money is not important but then they spend all their life to worry about it you know that is the psyche of the middle class that's the psyche of the middle class the rich <laughs> they are different they think differently they're not the ones trying to they're corrupt a lot of the corrupt a lot of yes of course anybody at all can be corrupt uh, but uh, if you are in the middle and you want a lot of money and you don't know how to make it a lot of the times they are the ones who use government institutions and they use anything you send them to lead anything and they are looking for negotiations to to get uh, you know kickback <laughs> because they think that <laughs> the money is the reason why they are rich no the rich is rich not because of the money it's because of the way they look at life, because of the things that they're able to build, the infrastructure they're able to build, the feed that they give to themselves, the kind of read books that they read, the kind of formation, their source of formation, the way they interpret issues are very much different from the rest of the people. And, and that's why if you look at any society, any country, the very top who created the wealth themselves, not the one who had to depend on government, not the ones who had to become, come into political power or set an NGO or start a church to become rich. I'm talking of the ones who created the wealth themselves where society compensated them they built businesses investments they created opportunities they traded those people the understanding of money is so much different from the rest of the people you know so thank you very much uh, for watching three types of mindset the poor mindset the poor man's mindset you know and the, those in the middle their mindset and the very rich their mindset they are not the same so the way they train their children is different the poor man who train his children or children <laughs> differently from the middle uh, people and then the rich who also train their children differently they say that if you go to the house or uh, the if you go to any house of any rich man you will see it and if you go to the house of the middle people you will see it you go to the house of the poor you also see it a lot of the times those who are trying to show off 
that they have money. The other ones who are in the middle, most of them, <laughs> because they don't understand money. So thank you very much uh, for watching. Thank you.